Rollup columns in Dataverse are awesome, but by default, they only recalculate themselves every hour. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to automatically recalculate your rollup columns on demand. We're going to be using Power Automate to do this for us. Recently, I had a customer in a virtual mentoring session who needed help automatically recalculating their rollup column because as soon as a record was modified, they wanted to take that calculation and move it to another table and create a report with that data. Waiting an hour was just not a feasible solution in this case. So what we're going to do today is take a look at a similar scenario that I've set up beforehand. We're just going to take a look at a model driven app really quickly. This is a very simple applicant tracking system where we have job openings and job applicants. So a job opening, we want to just calculate how many people have applied to this job and we want to do it instantly rather than waiting every hour for the data to refresh. So I'm going to just show you real quick. We'll go to the job openings table and I'll go to my customer service representative uh, opening. I'll take a look. It's got a role name, a role description and total applicants. Now we know we can manually recalculate a roll up column on a single record by going to the form in a model driven app, clicking this calculator here and then saying recalculate. However, if we want this to happen automatically, then this is just not an option either. So what we're left with is using the Dataverse web API. And I'm going to show you how to hit this API in your flow so that it will automatically calculate this data on demand. So if I was to go to job applications and for this, um, I'll, I'll add a new application. We'll say I'm applying to the Power Apps developer role. First name is Nate, last name Hallowell, save and close. What I want to happen is if I go to job openings, there's still zero applicants for the Power Apps developer role. I want this to instantly say that there's one applicant here. So I'm going to go back into my solution. And we're going to start with a new Cloudflow. So I'm going to go to automation and we'll do an automated Cloudflow. I'll just call this auto calc job applicants. My trigger is going to be Dataverse. And the trigger itself is going to be when a row is added, modified, or deleted. I'm going to create the flow. So first, my trigger is I want to run this when a new applicant applies. This applicant could be coming from a power page site or something internally, but I want to run this flow when a new record is added to my table. So we'll say added to the job applications table. And the scope will be at the organization level. All I need to do to automatically calculate this rollup is I'm going to use the Dataverse Web API. With the Dataverse Web API, there are hundreds of predefined actions that you can call in order to do things that might not be included in the standard Dataverse actions. To do this, I'm going to use the Microsoft Entra pre-authorized HTTP call action. So I'm just going to search for HTTP. Whenever you're making API calls to Dataverse, authentication is a really tricky thing. So I'm just going to use the pre-authorized connector. You'll see there's two connectors using HTTP with Microsoft Entra. One of them is not pre-authorized and one of them is pre-authorized. So I'm going to use the pre-authorized connector with my account. I'm going to invoke an HTTP request. And all I need to pass in right now is the base resource URL and the resource URI for Microsoft Entra ID. So the application ID. So we don't need to create any sort of app ID or app registration or anything like that. Really all this is asking for is our environment URL. The easiest way to get that is to hit the gearbox in the top right of your screen, go to developer resources, and then there's your web API endpoint. All we're going to include here is from HTTPS over to right after dynamics.com and include that last slash. So we're not going to use the API data 9.2 version. We're not going to use that just yet for the base URL. We're just going to paste that in right here. And it's going to be the same thing on the app ID as well. Then we're going to sign in. 
sign in with your work account. And just like that, we are connected to this environment and we can now hit the Dataverse API with no problem. So the method is going to actually be get, which is a little bit confusing, but we're going to get data. Now all we need is the URL for this request. So I'm gonna go back to my notepad. Again, there are three things that you need to pass into this URL. The first thing is the base URL for the web API. In order to find that, we're going to go back into our make.powerapps.com. We'll go to the gearbox in the top right. We're going to go to developer resources. And there's the web API endpoint for this environment. So that's the first thing that you're going to need. The second thing you're going to need is your entity set name and the field name that is the rollup column. So the entity set name if you're wondering how to find this. Now, the easy answer is it's just the plural version of the logical name of your table. So if you just need the logical name of your table, you can go into your solution. You can find your table, click the three dots, go to advanced tools, and then copy logical name. So this will copy the logical name of this table to your clipboard, which you can see is not pluralized. So to make sure you have this exact thing that this is asking for, this URL is asking for the entity set name. So if we go back to our solution and click the three dots and go to advanced tools, we can look at all of the API table definition. This is JSON. And if we do a control F and search for entity set name, you'll see it's right there. PWATS underscore job openings. Again, to get there, it's three dots, advanced tools, and then API link to table definition. And then the last thing we need is the logical name for our rollup column. So the field name, if I go inside of this table and go to my columns, I can find my rollup column, which is total applicants. I can click the three dots, advanced tools, and copy logical name. So now I'll go back to my flow and I'm gonna start pasting in this URL. And get rid of any extra spaces. And the only thing I'll need from dynamic content is the GUID of the record that I wanna calculate the rollup column on. So I'm going to get rid of the letters GUID and I'm going to replace that with the actual GUID, which is going to be in my dynamic content. I have a column in the application table called opening. So I want the value opening parentheses value is going to give me the GUID for my job opening record. Now I'm going to save this flow and let's go test it out. Let's see how it works. So I'm going to manually test this. I'm going to go back to my model driven app. And this time I'm going to apply to the customer service representative role. So I'll go to job applications, do a new application for the customer service representative. And we'll say Mike Jones. I'll save and close. I'll go check my flow. Took a second, but it ran successfully. So if I go back to my app, go to the job openings, you'll see that the customer service representative role now has four total applicants. Again, if I go to job applications, fill out a new application for the developer, I'll just put in Nate Hallowell again, save and close. Go back to job openings and automatically there's three applicants for the Power Apps developer role. So pretty quick, very reliable. 
This is a solution that we found when working with a virtual mentoring customer. If you're interested in the virtual mentoring service, be sure to check that out in the link in the description of this video below. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.